Hey everyone, I'm Kate Kennedy and I'm here with day 77 of 100 Days of Kane PA. And today I'm going to talk with Maddie Stanish, who moved back to Kane after graduating college in 2018. She went to school for environmental science and is working in that field today, but she also is able to nurture her passion for art um, by being involved in the thriving art community right here in Kane, Pennsylvania. So today you're going to hear her stories and about why she loves being back. So I'm going to go ahead and flip around. And we'll walk on in and say hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, Maddie, how's it going? Good. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time today. Um, I'm so excited to talk with you about what you're doing in Kane these days. So, but first, let's talk about you were born and raised here in Kane. Yep, yep. What year did you graduate high school? So I graduated in 2014. In 2014. And what did you do next? Um, I went to Slippery Rock and I graduated with a degree in environmental science in 2018. And what was it that drew you to the environmental science field? So the environmental science field kind of drew me in um, because it's such a broad field. Um, it's not just a specific line of work. You can go into many different things. Um, you can do air, water, soil, um, botany, anything. I mean, it's, it's endless opportunities. So, How were you first exposed to that? Um, whenever I was in high school, I took the, um, AP environmental science class, uh, my senior year. Um, I kind of went into it not knowing terrible amount of information about the environment, but I really liked it because there was just so much, um, to learn. There's so much different information that it just was always something different, you know, so. So you must love the outdoors. Mm -hmm, definitely. What are some of the ways that you spend your time outside? Um, Anything from taking my dogs on walks, um, going on hikes, uh, kayaking, skiing in the winter. Um, I just like going outside and taking pictures some days. Um, and I like doing a lot of astrophotography. And that's that's a big thing that you can do around here because there's not many lights, you know. So um, that's usually how I spend my time. Yeah, so you go out to the, some of the natural resources like the dam or hiking yeah, in the local places sure. mm -hmm. or um, outside at night when it's so dark to take <laughs> photographs of yeah. the stars. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. I know the sky here, there's nothing like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so you went to college, studied environmental science, but you decided to move back to Kane and you got mm -hmm. a job in your field. What are you doing? So I work for the McKean County Conservation District. Um, I was hired there right out of college and I actually started as an intern and then I was moved into a permanent position. Um, but now I, my main program is um, with invasive plants. Um, so I'll do thing, anything from education with students at high schools or just teaching the general public about invasives, um, doing site visits to um, concerned citizens if they don't know what a plant is on their property. Um, things like that. So. That's awesome. You yeah. must love your job. Yeah, it's awesome. I get I get to go outside. We can't complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really great thing. Yeah. Um, and in addition to the environmental uh, science th field that mm -hmm. you're getting to fulfill through your job, you also have another passion mm -hmm. and that's art. Can you yep. talk about how you first got involved with art? So um, I, I grew up uh, drawing pretty much. I, I started out drawing I can't even tell you when. It's just been forever. Um, but I would start with drawing cartoons usually. Um, and I got better through that. And then I've worked myself up to doing um, animals and landscapes, things like that. So That's amazing. Who were some of the people early on that really encouraged you or like nurtured your artistic talent? Um, probably my art teachers. Miss um, Hauser in middle school for sure. Um, we did a lot of different things in there, but I remember when we would do sketching, I just loved doing it. I couldn't get enough of it. Um, and then in high school, Miss Yanni was a great uh, mentor with um, my drawing and other things like painting too. But um, and my dad, he he's been a big support too. So I've definitely had a couple people that um, have kind of taught me how to better myself with art for sure. Yeah, well, that's awesome. And did you ever, as a kid, um, enter your art into any kind of competitions or festivals? Yep. So um, one time I entered a drawing and it was a competition through my church, actually. And um, we 
I can't remember the exact like criteria of what it was, but I remember I drew like a mountain range and I won first place. I was like shocked. It was awesome. <laughs> but um, yeah, and we got like a cash prize each person that won. So it was really cool. That's that definitely awesome. like supported my uh, artistic ability. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What church yeah. was that? That was St. Callistus. That's so cool yeah. that they also kind of were mm -hmm. nurturing the arts through yeah, what they were definitely. doing. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, and then um, eventually you started to display your art. And mm -hmm. so where were some of the first places in Kane that you did that? So um, before we were up here at Artworks on the Summit, we were in the depot. And I remember, I think one of my art teachers had invited me to bring some stuff in and um, have it displayed, see how it went, see what people, if people were buying it. And um, so I brought stuff in. I was probably a freshman or sophomore in college and... Um, brought a couple drawings I had and people were buying them so it was there was a demand for my artwork so I had to you know keep bringing stuff in and so that's why kind of where it started that must feel amazing to have mm -hmm. people start to buy it yeah definitely you put your whole heart and soul into uh -huh. something and then people see the value of it and yeah. want to spend their money on it that's uh -huh. amazing so you said artworks um, on the summit is now here up on Fraley Street but it started at the depot yep can you tell us the story of how it got moved up uptown so, um, when we were down at the depot, we had kind of a small setup. We didn't have as much artwork as up here, but we were getting more people that were interested in more artists. And it was like, well, we're running out of room. So, um, this place opened up and we kind of, um, took advantage and came up here and it's the perfect size. And, um, you know, we were able to bring more artists in after that too. So we've got, uh, quite the crew up here. That's awesome. So you're right here on Fraley Street. Yep. And um, who are some of the people that you work with or that you collaborate with on the art here? Um, so there's people from all over. They're not just from Kane. There's people from Ridgeway, uh, Bradford, Warren, um, and just the small towns around the area. Uh, smaller towns, I should say. Uh, but um, my art teachers are both part of it, which is awesome because they, they've kind of you know, help me get to where I am now. And now we kind of work together. Um, that so, is really neat. Yeah, we kind of all collaborate and work together and, you know, express ideas and support each other in that way. Mm -hmm. so. And what are some of the things that you do? So your artwork's displayed, but how else are you involved here at Artworks on the Summit? So I actually manage and run the Facebook account, um, which is kind of a big undertaking. Uh, so I'll you know, post about our hours or um, events that we host or are going to host and um, answer questions people have, messages, and overall just promote the uh, gallery and try to get it spread, you know, the word spread. And it's it's kind of hard, honestly. People, <laughs> you got to use emojis for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but people like emojis. But um, other than that, I mean, yeah, it's been a great experience working up here because it kind of you get to see what people like and what yeah. they're, they're looking for through that. Yeah, and um, Kane has a great art scene, mm -hmm. and art has been pretty well supported um, yeah. in the community. Could you talk about uh, the weekend of Art in the Wild and how you uh, have been invested in both that festival and artworks sure. that weekend? So um, that weekend was super busy for me. Um, so I would come up here and work at the gallery and talk to people that were coming in and... Um, kind of you know just schmooze about art and then <laughs> I would go down to the art in the wilds and I would take pictures for them um and for their event and post about that and so whenever I'd be at one or the other I'd say hey make sure you go up there and check out you know artworks on the summit or go down to art in the wilds and check out the artist that's down there they have stuff in here too you know so it was great we kind of worked together and um I think that really uh helped move traffic from one to the other so and yeah. Art in the Wild is probably something that you've seen most of your life growing mm -hmm, up because um, it's been around for a while. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about what it is and what you've seen there? Um, so I remember going to the festival growing up and um, it's just cool to see each year the different artists and different, you know, what they bring. There's pottery, there's jewelry and, you know, pencil drawings, paintings, anything you could ever imagine. And it's just cool to see how each artist puts so much of their, like, passion into it. And, you know, it's not just something, you know, they do for fun. Sometimes it's like they make, you know, it's their career. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really neat to see people. And there's people from so far that come to Kane just to be part of the experience, too. And 
I know some of the artists I've talked to, they said that this is their favorite art show. Mm -hmm. and they, they really enjoy coming here. Yeah, and having it at Evergreen Park mm -hmm. is such a beautiful setting. Yeah, definitely. And one of the things I love about artwork on the summit is that a lot of the art really reflects nature. I mean, there's a mm -hmm. lot of different things here, a lot of different styles, yeah. but it's um, a lot of, of the nature that we're surrounded by mm -hmm. that's reflected. What are some of the different mediums that um, artists bring into here? Um, so we have anything from photography to acrylic and oil painting. Um, Mary Riding does encaustic, which is actually like um, wax. And mm -hmm. I do, you know, just pencil and paper. We have uh, weaving, scarves, woodworking. Um, there's really endless, you know, jewelry. There's so much stuff here that you, you have to know there's like something you'll like, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something, something for, for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How do you feel Kane supports artists? So, um, I definitely feel welcomed, like, from the community. Uh, whenever we opened this, we were unsure, you know, I don't know, are we going to get people to come in? And people come in here, and there's, like, regulars that are always looking for this one artist stuff. They're like, oh, did they bring in new stuff yet? I, I want to look at it. And, um... Yeah, people are always coming up here, and they'll ask me when they see me on the street, how's the art gallery? I want to come in again. and Or people will ask, you know, when's the next workshop? I want to come and learn how to do this. And it's been great. Like, people are definitely interested in the arts, and they uh, there's always an interest there. That's so cool, because it is a small town. So to have yeah. such a support for the arts and a group of people like you and the, yeah. the other people who are um, very committed to artworks, right. um, invest in that and provide that for a community mm -hmm. is such a special thing about Kane. Yeah. What is it that you love about making art? Um, it's just nice to have something to do. At, like, when I get home from work, it's like I just need to, like, turn on some music and zone out and just draw. It's just, like, kind of a relaxation thing for me mm -hmm. um it's i enjoy doing it but it's it's nice i can make money off of it too yeah, so it's, awesome. it's like a it's it's an awesome um thing for sure but could, um could you yeah. show us some of your art sure so this is one of my favorites i actually did that last year this is my cat rue um this is how he's always looking at me when he's begging <laughs> for food uh but um this one took a while to do because he's got such long hair and it it was a lot of um patience getting that done I did yeah, I definitely so detailed yeah yeah I do a lot of commission for people um of their pets actually and I like doing it because you get to see all the different breeds of animals that are <laughs> around the cane area that's true um and then I do mostly just animals and wildlife so I found elk um bird and um do you get these for pictures or how do you capture the subject of your art um typically I'll I'll look on the internet for different um, animals and sometimes I'll just kind of go off a couple different ones or sometimes I'll just do a direct, you know, um, copy. Like I'll do that like with my cat. I just took the picture and made it, scaled it and drew it. So so if people commission you, they give you a picture yeah, and yeah. go from there? Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Awesome. I'm just going to do a quick little scan around here. Mm -hmm. So here's some of the woodworking, some paintings. Some of the like um, fabric art. Mm -hmm. This is such a little treasure right here in Kane. And when are you open, Maddie? When is this? So we're open Thursday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so. And you're up here sometimes, and other artists are up here. Yeah, there's usually mm -hmm, there's usually somebody staffing. Um, not specifically me, but sometimes I'll be up here. It's, yeah. it's just on a whim, you know, it's never set in stone. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much. It's been yeah. really awesome to hear about yeah. this, this combination that you get to experience here of both the environment and the mm -hmm. outdoors and your love for that, yeah. as well as your love for art and mm -hmm. having that validated through this art gallery here at Artworks yeah. on the Summit. Sure. Um, you do great work. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to share or, or talk about before we wrap up? Um, I just want to like thank the community for supporting uh, Artworks on the Summit. It's been great, um, a great first year. Um, we've only been open since just about this time last year, and it's been it's just been a whirlwind. I can't believe it's been a year already, but we've had so much support and um, interest from the community. It's been great. I can't wait for you know to see what what's to come in the future. So. Yeah, definitely. And and you just graduated college in two thousand eighteen, so you've been yeah. home about a year. 
Yeah. What was it? I don't even know if I asked this question. What was it that brought you back to Kane out of all the places you could have gone? Um, like originally I was looking to move down to like a pit, the Pittsburgh area. And then I was like, well, I don't know. Like there's not much down there that I would want to do regularly. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to go shop every weekend and stuff like that. And you have to drive to go anywhere in the woods. So I'm like, well, I'll look back home and see what there is. And I got a job in my field you know, close to home, which is awesome. You can't ask for anything better, but yeah. Seems like the perfect setup for you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, Maddie. Well, thank you. Is there anything else that you want to share? I think that's it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your time. This thank is super you. interesting, and um, I think that this is such a special treasure right here, Uptown Kane. All right, thanks. Right, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't been to Artworks, definitely check it out. Um, we have so many talented artists in the community and it's really, really wonderful to see how the Kane community supports the arts. Um, that's a huge piece of the fabric of who we are in Kane is the art um, that, that is created by people in the area. And so um, I'm grateful for Maddie to share her story today. And I would love to hear your stories about art. How has art inspired you in Kane? What has it meant to you? Um, are you an artist? Do you draw? Do you paint? Do you create? Um, and how do you um, share that here in this area? So please comment below. We'd love to hear your stories too. And uh, thank you again so much for tuning in today and we'll see you again tomorrow for day 78.